to branch out and find new opportunities and friends. You learn from your mistakes rather than your successes, so. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. To always keep a $20 bill in my sock whenever I went out, just in case I always needed some money. Don't let your schooling get in the way of your education. Know how to balance your time wisely. Between school and play and work and classes and homework and exercise. This is a fresh start. Do what you want to do. Just be you. Don't be afraid to push the boundaries of everything. Be open with everyone and always be friendly as possible. To stay true to who I am. Have an open mind in life, in school, in everything you do. Never to shake a person's hand sitting down. How to be my own person. To have compassion for other people. And how to love others really well. If you're gonna do something, you should probably try and do it right the first time because going back and doing it the right way a second time, it just wastes time. They told me to reach for the impossible and to never doubt it. I've learned that I'm more resilient than I thought. I can be whoever I want to be. You never know where your next best friend is gonna come from. There's so much more to be done collaboratively than independently. Organic chemistry is horrible. It's okay to make some mistakes. Definitely go to the Anchor for breakfast. We have some amazing breakfast sandwiches that not a lot of people know about. Take advantage of my resources to join new groups and to make friends out of them. There's so many people you're gonna come into contact with in your life and each of them can teach you something. All of the RAs during training, we all went and we did karaoke at the pilot house together and it was so funny. When it snowed and a bunch of friends went out to the soccer field and played soccer and had like a big snowball fight and we got a slide tackle a couple of my friends, so that was a plus. And we got to go sledding down the stairs underneath the St. John's Bridge. We just ate a whole pizza to ourselves and watched the snow fall from our dorm room. Me and my friend stayed up all night. We like started from four o'clock hanging out and we stayed up all the way until I think 7 a.m. And then I remember for breakfast that morning, we had mac and cheese and coffee. This past August, I was a cook for the Service Plunge, which is a pre-orientation event for freshmen where they get to do service projects. Getting the opportunity to study abroad in Australia. Being a part of the Inner Tube Water Polo Championship. The soccer games. Soccer games freshman year. That was something that I was really looking forward to. When we got to rush the field, when we beat St. Mary's, that was a lot of fun. I had just moved into Lund Family Hall when it just opened, and the, our community shower was actually like the fire emergency thing was like broken and there was a sign on the front door that said do not use but the door was still open so I went and showered and set off the entire fire alarm system for the hall in the middle of my shower so I was drenching wet, rushed to my room, kind of somewhat changed <laughs> and ran up for the fire trail. <laughs> I'm very grateful and I love you very much. Their constant support has meant the absolute world to me. I couldn't be here without them. She's the only reason I'm here and try to do as best as I can. My family's been amazing. I'm actually gonna go call them in a couple minutes. <laughs> they are my rock and the reason that I am the person I am today. As difficult as I can be, they're always so understanding. I'll get out of here in four years. There's never enough ways to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for constantly being there and listening to my hour-long calls every week. For just always pushing me and always telling me to have fun. Thank you for everything you ever taught me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry right now. They're great. I'm so grateful that I've had them and that they are always there for me through thick and thin. Without you, I would never have had the courage to go to college, leave home. I love you guys so much. <laughs> and I'm really happy that we'll be here this weekend.